Hello guys, my name is Mukul and uh, today we are going to use Google Authenticator with Django and see how two-step verification works. Google Authenticator is a software-based authenticator which was actually developed by Google and popularly it uses uh, two algorithms which is called a time-based one-time password algorithm and HMAC-based one-time password algorithm. So it's a kind of an additional security uh, which people use in their app, uh, web application and uh, today we are going to try it out uh, using python so there's a library called pyotp we'll be using pyotp so it's a python one time password library so we are going to install it and integrate with our django application and see how things work works out let's get started so basically uh, we have created the starter application of django so i'm not getting into the nitty gritty details how the app is getting created and how we have to create models i assume that you are having knowledge about django so right now so i have created a authenticator app over there there is a model file and over here we have to store the secret key so from this secret key uh, the Google authenticator is going to generate uh, six to eight digit length of uh, secret kind of a one time password which gets auto refreshed every 60 seconds so basically normally people use google authenticator with phones but today we'll be using a chrome app uh, called authenticator we'll be trying to install authenticator and try to authenticate all our requests from there So yeah, so this is our authenticator app and we'll be using this one. So let's go to the API documentation and how things works. So this is the quick, quick overview of using one-time password on your phone. OTP involves a shared secret stored both on the phone and the server. OTP can be generated on a phone without internet connectivity. Okay, let's get started. So First of all, we will go through the installation. Pip install PyOTP. Okay. So you can write over here and or else in PyCharm, there is one good feature you can go to file settings. project project interpreter and you can directly install from here at here also so this package is already installed you can see the list of packages which has which are already installed okay so next okay so basically we'll be using the time based otp and uh, this is the functionality so first of all let me copy this line so we have to look into how things work so uh, basically uh, we need to store the secret key in the database and from this secret key we need to generate the current password and we need to verify so this is the secret key will be providing to the user so you can generate from your side store it in the database and whenever the user provides a otp you need to verify it through this function so it will be returning true or false so based on that will be trying to authenticate it whether pi otp is actually working or not so uh, let's get started so uh, let me open the django admin So 
कोई नहीं है दे यूजिंग दिस सीक्रेट की तो तो दिस सीक्रेट की and it's not necessary that you it should be base 32 secret 3232 you can give any secret key you can generate from uuid or universally unique identifiers or any kind of time stamp you can create a, your own secret key so i'm just using the sample what they have provided okay so let me assign with the user mukul and save okay so right now we need to test this out whether the thing is working or not so comment this line right there local class so this line this is the first object from the database so it's a kind of a hard coding but uh, basically you have to check from the authentication whether the user is logged in or not if it's logged in definitely you can get from request dot user from user who is currently logged in Who is the currently logged in user? But right now we are doing manually to test out whether things are working or not. So. this is accepting pin from the users so let's check whether this thing is working or not
Okay, it works good. So yeah, MFS stands for multi-factor authentication. I'm just keeping a kind of a sample name. So let's generate the right now. Some secret key we are going to generate the token. Okay, account sample. So it's a time based. Okay. So this is the current OTP. So you can see the countdown is going on every 60 seconds. This will change. Yeah. So sometimes it changes, sometimes it doesn't. So basically I haven't tried this web app. Okay. Let us test over here in the views. Yeah. So So over here pin is what we are receiving from the user. So this is the pin six seven eight seven six seven. What we'll be receiving from the user, and it will be giving status. So so if verification status else it will pop okay so you can see the status is now false because this is a wrong pin and the current otp is 225738 let's see what's the app is saying yeah so both are giving same. Uh, let me copy this one and try to paste. Yeah, it works. Give some time and we'll try with some other code whether it's working or not. Let me refresh. Yeah, that means this this is a timer based yeah so every 60 seconds the otp will get expired yeah so these things work very well so thank you guys for watching and uh, this is the tutorial how to use pi otp with django or you can use with any web frameworks with using python and or any other language and you can try it out thanks for watching